Starting out today's tutorial, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in black and a tiny liner brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and start carving out the shape of our new eye. Um, so whatever shape your natural eye shape is, just go ahead and follow that in the crease and recreate it. Next, I'm taking my Morphe Fluidity Concealer in the shade white and an angled eyeliner brush. And I'm using it to carve out our new eyeball. Next, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution white powder and a little uh, flat brush and packing that powder all over where we just set the concealer. Next, I'm taking my LA Colors liquid eyeliner in black and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the eyeball. So just make two curved lines on um, either side of the middle of the eyelid to create our new eyeball. I am then taking the same eyeliner and creating the pupil right in the center. Now I'm just using the eyeliner to put little flicks coming out from the pupil to make it look kind of, I guess, realistic, but not really, if that makes sense. Next, I'm taking the Maddie Ziegler palette from Morphe, and I'm going to go ahead and use that blue shade to fill in the eye. Going back in with that liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to redo the pupil and the sides of the eye so that it has a better contrast. To give the appearance that this is a real eye, I went ahead and did some eyeshadow on the new eyelid. And I took that Maddie Ziegler Morphe palette in that light brown shade and I went ahead and put that in my crease, if you will, with a fluffy brush. And I like to work it in a circular motion. Um, I do this when I'm actually doing my actual eyeshadow as well. Um, but I figured if the new eye had eyeshadow, it would look a little more realistic. I don't think I captured this on camera, but I went ahead into the Maddie Ziegler palette and there's like a little, like a reddish brown shade. And I went ahead and put that on the outer uh, corner of the new eyelid. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm using a Kiss um, Mink Lash and Duo Lash Glue and I'm going to go ahead and put this on our new lash line. While I was waiting for the lash glue to dry, I took that fluffy brush once again and made sure that all the edges of the eyeshadow were completely blended. I 
Last minutely, I also decided that this blue was not bright enough, so I went in with my Morphe James Charles palette and grabbed that bright blue, and I went ahead and just packed that right over the blue that we already had with a little pencil brush. Now it was time to pop on the lash, so what I did is I just went ahead and literally put it on our new lash line. It's pretty easy, just stick it on there. I'm sorry you can't really see this part, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just using the tweezers to make sure that it is connected to the eyelid. At this point, I've decided that I wanted the wing to be a little bit bigger, so I went ahead and took the liquid eyeliner and just touched it up and made a new wing. Now I just took a cotton swab and cleaned up where the old wing used to be so everything looks nice and sharp. And that is the completed exaggerated eye makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked today's videos. If you did, leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!